Okay, this video is going to go over one last piece of information uh, that students struggle with sometimes, and it's DNS related. Uh, hopefully, you, you remember from CNT 120 that computers use IP addresses when they communicate things. Humans like names better, so we will try to connect. When we try to connect, we use names. So in this case, I'm using the name cntserve.hag.edu. Well, if we want to see what what name goes what number goes with that we can use NSLOOKUP and we see that I get back the IP address of CNT serve uh, for that so the problem with this that we run into is depending on which DNS server you ask you might get a different result here I asked a public DNS server out over the internet and got back a public IP address. If I ask that question on CNT serve itself, I get back a private IP address and I asked the hack DNS server. So this is one of CNT server's actual IP addresses. If, if we look at the output of the IP adder command, the interface ENS192 has the IP address 172.2140.25. So the problem we run into in this class is that on our private networks from our servers, this is the IP address we need to use to get to CNT serve. And, and the problem is that IP address does not exist in DNS. So let me demonstrate what happens when we try to connect from our local system. not our local system, our server. So I'm logged in as my server, as root. If I try to do something to CNT serve, it's not going to work because we do not have a DNS entry that has CNT serve's private IP address. Um, so uh, we, we, we run into this issue a lot uh, in the past, so many times in the past, that I'm actually going to give us a solution to this. One solution, and the solution we've always tried to use, is that we just use the private IP address for CNT serve. So if I try that, it works, right? It lets me try to connect. But like I said, we have this problem all the time, um, and I want to solve it for us. So in Linux, in, in many systems, there is a file that you can use to provide DNS-related information. And that file on Linux is called Etsy Host. So as root, I'm going to edit this file. You see I'm logged in as root. I'm going to edit Etsy Host. And I'm going to add an entry for CNT serve. So I'm going to put in CNT serve's private IP address, 192.168.240.103. I hit a tab. And then I'm going to put CNT serve, and then I'm going to put CNT serve .hack .edu because that that seems to be the convention uh, for doing that. You put a short name and you put the the full full name. So now, if I made that entry, now when I try to use the host name, it now works. I'm not going to log in because root can't log in, but but you see the difference, right? Up here, I tried the I tried the host name. It didn't work. I had to cancel it with Control C. Here, I did the IP address, which did work, uh, and then I edited the host file entry, and then I, now I can use the host name. So that's that's part of the assignment for this module. I want you to go edit the host file entry to put a, an entry in for CNT serve. And again, if we want to review what that what that looks like. You put CNT serve's private IP address, I hit a tab, I type CNT serve, I hit a space, I to type CNT serve.hack.edu. So if you put that in your host file, that will hopefully prevent you from having uh, issues later in the class when we actually need to access CNT serve from your private system server.